Australia was once a dominant figure in global tennis, but it's been 39 years since a local has lifted the trophy at home. With the declining participation figures and tennis courts disappearing, there are some fears that the glory days will remain in the past. Rahul Pathak has more. Another year, another Australian Open with no homegrown winner. It's been 10 years since an Australian has played in a singles final in either the women's or men's event. And you have to go back even further to find the last Australian to have won the Open. That was Mark Edmondson way back in 1976. The semis against Rosewell, I just, I mean, he, he's like playing God. I think it was the best win of my life. And then, and then once I got through him, I, I just thought, well, this is fantastic. Is it more accurate to say that there's basically just more things competing for kids' attention these days uh, than, than back in the day? Well, in my view, yes. I mean, when I was, when I was young, there was four sports, you know, football, whatever variety there was, cricket, tennis, you know, and swimming. One possible reason for the lack of success is that simply not enough people are playing tennis. In 2002, 8% of 18 to 24 year olds were registered players. That had gone down to 6% in 2005 and to just 3% in 2012. However, there is hope. This year's Open saw 19 year old Nick Kios reach the quarterfinals, the first time an Australian has done that since Leighton Hewitt in 2005. The White City Tennis Club in Sydney is almost a symbol of the decline of Australian tennis. Built in 1922, it hosted five Davis Cup finals and used to be the home of the Sydney International until 2000. But a lack of funding in recent years has seen its once iconic venue fall into disrepair. Good news on the horizon with the owners saying they want to redevelop the site with a new multi-sports facility and they say that tennis will play a large part in that facility. And if the sport can remain truly accessible and affordable to all in this country, then maybe Australia's very long wait for a singles champion at the Australian Open could soon be coming to an end. Rahul Pathak, Al Jazeera, Sydney.